Hello everyone, doing a slightly different video today. These are my top 10 breweries in the Phoenix area. This is a very hard list to come up with because there are so many microbrews in the Phoenix area. Picking just the top 10 was extremely difficult. So I'm going to start by cheating. This is a wild card entry and I'm making it a wild card because it's technically not a brewery. It's a meadery. It's Scale and Feather Meadery in Avondale. Parking is not an issue here. There's plenty. Uh, once you step in the door, you're going to realize this is a fantasy-based meadery. There are references to vid video games and all sorts of TV shows. There's dragons. There's swords all over the walls. There's fake candles. But they make excellent mead. And if you ask nicely and they aren't too busy, they'll probably take you out back too so you can actually see where everything is done. So now into the top 10. I have at number 10, Peoria Artisan Brewing, or brewery. This is a gastro pub, so you can get food here as well. It's a full restaurant, and they normally have a very wide selection of beers. Parking is not an issue for its location, and they have outside seating. Not all the places on here are going to have that. But yes, this is a very safe brewery to go to. They have enough selection that even if you're picky about beer, you should be able to find something you like. At number nine is Flying Bassett Brewing in Gilbert. This location has a restaurant on site, so food isn't a problem. There's plenty of parking. And if you're fortunate, you'll even get to see the Bassett Hounds. Uh, they have a wide variety of beer. So again, this is not one you're probably gonna have to worry about finding something you like. At number eight, we're heading over to Peoria to Richter Ale Works. This location, parking is not an issue, but they do not have a restaurant. Uh, they do often have food trucks there. If you call them or send them a message on social media, they will normally let you know what's going to be there that night. Uh, this is a decent place to watch a game, too. They have some TVs up and running. At number seven, we're going to either Peoria or Glendale because we're talking about Throne. If you go to the Glendale location, you know, no problem with parking, and they have a restaurant there. If you go to the one in Peoria, it's a much smaller, more intimate location with much better service and the parking is an issue there either but they do not have a restaurant but it is bring your own food they have no problem with that whatsoever now throne has some really good beers uh, their blood orange ipa is very good and one of my personal favorites is their maple strong ale you just have to be careful with it because it'll knock you on your butt at number six we're heading to northern phoenix right around the Deer Valley area. This is our first brewery in that location and it's not gonna be the last. We got Front Porch Brewing. Now they have a nice location, parking isn't an issue. They have plenty of room inside and it's kind of neat how they set it up in there. You can see from, the, from some of the pictures here. Food wise, they often have food trucks but they do not have food on location. So we're staying in the Deer Valley area for number five. It's Simple Machine Brewing Company. And when we're talking top five, we're talking extremely close in terms of quality and everything. So it was very difficult to put these guys at number five. They could easily have been much higher. They take a lot of risks. They do a lot of crazy things that others just don't even attempt. They also have a lot of barrel aged. Normally at least one on tap at a time is gonna be a barrel aged, but no matter what you pick here, you can't really go wrong. They have a lot on tap at all times. Parking here can be a little bit of an issue. Uh, it's got a really small parking lot that's shared with a whole bunch of other businesses. But typically, if you're patient enough, you'll, you'll be able to find a place to park. Also, they have some outside seating, which is really nice, and not many breweries on this list have that. To number four, we're headed to southern Phoenix, around that area, right near the airport. It's Walter Station Brewery. Now, this one doesn't have great parking, but it's right next to the light rail, which I, I know a lot of people don't take the light rail, but it's there if, if there's any concerns about getting into this place. Now, this one does have food on site. They have their own kitchen and they have a nice variety. Their beer is great. Their location is great. It's inside of an old fire station. And on top of that, they have a nice range of outdoor seating. And from time to time, they also have live music and entertainment there. At number three, we're heading over to the southwest for Transplant 
City Brewing Company, better known as TCBC. Now this location, they have outside seating, they have plenty of parking. Uh, their beer is definitely above average, but they do not have food here. From time to time, they will have a food truck, but again, it's one of those you'll have to reach out to them on social media. Uh, these guys go a notch above some of the previous ones just based on service. Yeah, they're they're very, very good when it comes to service. They'll make you feel like you're right at home. It's an excellent location. Now, you probably think I already showed this one, but no, it's next door to Scale and Feather, directly next door in the same parking lot is 8-Bit Ale Works. Now, the owner here, Ryan, is kind of a legend in the area uh, for his knowledge of the brewing process. Uh, he does things that no one else, I think, has even attempted in the area. His The whole place is video game themed. Um, so as soon as you walk in, you're going to hear 8-bit versions of songs playing in the background. Top of that, he has consoles set up that you can play if you want. You just got to ask, and he'll give you the selection of games to pick from. Now, the reason this place is so crazy, he has done a health potion. Yeah, based on the video games. He actually found a way to do a red beer. Then he turned around and somehow pulled off a blue potion or a mana potion. He did a blue beer. Now, he does not die the beers. He uses natural ingredients to make them the color that they are. But those aren't even his best beers. He has ones here that he bottles them every year and they sell out very quickly, uh, especially the Mayan Choclosis. Every single beer here is named after a video game in one way or another. And his four staples that he has on at all times are all excellent. And any given time, he also has an additional four or five, maybe more on tap that are like crazy special beers, experiments, and stuff like that. So yeah, this place is definitely worth checking out. So that brings us to number one. We're heading back over to the Deer Valley area for Lake Pleasant Brewing Company. The parking here isn't too bad. Um, it could be better, but they share the lot with a gym, so sometimes it can be a little crazy. But why is this place number one? Well, first, it's the service. Um, if you show up there on a somewhat regular basis, it's terrifying how quickly they learn your name. And on top of that, they take crazy chances with beer. They normally are always working on some kind of a sour, and then they will do some experiments that are just insane, like their Element 119, which they decided they wanted to see how strong of a beer they could brew. The end result clocked in at over 18% ABV, which is about four to five times stronger than like a Budweiser. Almost every single one of their beers is top notch. It's so rare that they have anything that isn't top of the line. Um, the only things that were a little iffy were some of their early seltzers, but they completely cleaned that up too. And now they almost always carry at least one seltzer on tap that is absolutely clean. So yeah, this is definitely one of them to check out. As far as food, they don't have food on the premises, but every single day they have a food truck and they always post their food truck schedule on social media. So that's why they end up being number one is they're just absolute quality service and massive variety of beers. So there's my top 10. Uh, like I said, there are so many more, so I encourage anyone, feel free to comment on your favorite breweries in the area. There are so many of them that it's hard to even count them all. Yeah. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.